What's going on everybody and welcome back to another acoustic guitar comparison. You guys really seem to like these, so we're going to go ahead and do another one. And I think this one is going to be the most interesting because we have two guitars that are the same model. So in the past we've done kind of Gibson versus Martin sort of things. Both of these are Gibson J45s. So this one is my favorite acoustic guitar of all time. This is my 1948 Gibson J45. Came from the family of the original owner. Its name is Ralph, obviously. These decals have been on here for many years and this is like the coolest guitar ever to me. Love this thing. And we are gonna be shooting this out with this, which is a 1955 Gibson J45. Uh, this guitar is not mine. This belongs to my good friend, Jared Brandon. Uh, ooh, almost set a brand of wound pickups. Uh, Jared actually works for Gibson now. So yeah, that's cool. So very similar guitars, right? We have uh, two slope shoulder Gibson dreadnoughts. This one from being 1955, we've not actually talked about one of these before. I'm going to do a guitar of the week on this where we're going to talk a little bit more about the history of these. But this guitar has obviously visually a bigger pick guard, which happened in 1955. Whereas Ralph here has the smaller guard, which he would have got uh, from 1942 to 1954. Now, another big difference between these two guitars is the bracing. Ralph has scalloped bracing. The 1955 does not. And I believe the brace size changed a little bit as well. And we're talking about top braces here. Uh, both are X-braced. Both have roughly the same neck shape. Both have a spruce top and a mahogany back and sides with a Brazilian rosewood fretboard and bridge. So pretty similar, right? The only real differences is number one, they're just two different guitars they're two different J45s and they have slightly different top bracing. Some people argue that the big guard uh, J45s change the sound a little bit with that extra, you know, material on the top there. Eh, I don't know, maybe. Uh, this one is cool because it has the fixed bridge. Uh, when you start getting into kind of 1956, 57, I want to say, uh, you start getting the option of the adjustable bridge on these. And that's when the tone really starts to change on these J45s. But this one is a fixed bridge, and so is this. So this is going to be a really good comparison. So, uh, same as last time, we're going to use the same microphone setup. You guys seem to like the lapel setup, so we're going to do that. We're going to have one lapel microphone up here on my shirt and another one down here on my leg to capture the sound of the guitar in the room. So with that being said, let's go play these things. We'll do some strumming, some lead, and some finger picking. Let's see what these sound like.
All right, so there you guys have it. There is my 1948 Gibson J45 versus Jared Brandon's 1955 Gibson J45. Uh, both are very similar guitars. You know, they look similar, they feel similar, and of course they sound similar. Uh, in the room, I would say Ralph had a little bit more bass, maybe a little bit more presence and volume as well, uh, whereas the 1955 had a little bit more mid-range and maybe a little bit mellower sounding, which is pretty typical when you're comparing a small guard versus a large guard J45. Um, of course, both with uh, fixed bridges. Now, when you start getting into kind of the the later 50s, early 60s adjustable bridge J45s, that's kind of a different thing entirely. Uh, those do sound different uh, than both of these guitars. And maybe if I can get my hands on one of those, we'll do a comparison with one of those as well. Uh, but these are both fantastic guitars. Ralph is a little bit easier to play, uh, at least for me, mainly because I had Ralph refretted. Uh, because when I got this guitar, it had been sitting for 30-something years, and the frets were absolutely trashed, like com almost completely unplayable. Uh, so I put a little bit taller fret on Ralph, uh, whereas the 55, I believe those are the original frets, uh, just by looking at them. If they're not, they're definitely the original size, uh, which are quite a bit uh, shorter and maybe even a little bit narrower as well. But anyways... Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I had a great time doing this. Slightly less of a pointless comparison this time since we actually had the same model of guitar. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think and we will see you guys on the next comparison or pickup restoration or guitar of the week or whatever video I decide to do next. Take it easy guys, hope you have a great day.